Howdy, it's Matt, and in this quick impromptu video recorded on the iPad, so it's going to be a little bit shaky, uh, we're going to be taking a look at the wiring of iNav uh, on an F4 flight control board uh, within the C1 Chaser. So the C1 Chaser, absolutely fantastic model. I've had it for far too long and I've not flown it enough, to be frankly honest. Now, the reason why I've not flown it enough lately uh, is because I did have it set up for a vector, but the vectors which I've got are in other models and they suit those models really, really well. And I've been looking for a solution like iNav for a long period of time and I'm really glad to report, coming back to it six months on, it's working absolutely brilliantly. Now, with that said, the wiring, let's take a quick look. What we've got over on that side is a video transmitter. And then down here, we've got the receiver on the opposite wing. We've got the camera on the front and the motor on the back. Four key components. We've also got the hub or the brain up here, which is an F4 flight controller board. Uh, and it does look a bit scary on first glance, but actually it's really straightforward. And I think the, probably the best place for us to start is here on the front. In fact, that's what we're going to do. We're going to start on the front and then we're going to work our way around to the back. Now I am here just looking for something a little bit more presentable, sorry my fingers are covered in glue from earlier, uh, is that these first two wires, so that one and that one, are the servos. So those two wires which we've got there, they just run out, round the back, one goes off to the servo in the right wing and one servo goes in the left wing. No big surprises there, really straightforward. This other one which we've got, that one which is hiding underneath there, that wire just there. That is our uh, ESC wire, and our ESC is hiding up underneath the platform down there. Really straightforward so far, yeah? Good. Right, we've also got this other wire just poking up here, which is going into the first set of pins on the flight control board. And that actually runs all the way out underneath the wing, across to the L9R in the wing. And that's running S bus. So we've got S bus on there. So we've got three wires run all the way through and pop through on the board. So that's those little uh, connectors sorted. Now you may notice this little chunk of little, little cables just here. Well, that's for the magnometer uh, stroke compass or the GPS unit. So that's also mounted there uh, in the wing. Uh, and I've got it mounted there. And again, the cable goes underneath, pops out over there, goes around, and I've just soldered it up there onto the plug. Really straightforward. Then on the side, we've got AV in, which is this bright yellow lead, which comes from our FPV camera. So the FPV camera goes all the way in and that goes into video in. And then underneath, there's another plug, which is hiding just down there. And that's our AV out. Uh, also with ground attached to it. And that runs all the way down there and goes out to the video transmitter. Now, while on the topic of the FPV camera and the video transmitter, is up underneath here, or oh, actually, no, it's down the back of here. I've just got some splitter wires which um, provide power for the video transmitter and the FPV camera, so they all run off a common ground. Now, you may also notice is that we've got some power leads, some big thicker red wires here, and that's for a little custom loom, which I've well, custom little wiring bit which I made, which basically what happens, and again, if I lift this up, we've got power underneath there. So you'll notice we've got the battery connects to this plug and then we've got a red wire and then we've got two black wires. The red wire from the battery comes up and goes in that one there. So it's been soldered to the board. And the reason why it's soldered to the board is because this flight controller has got a current sensor on board. So the power comes up around and goes in there and then comes back out of here and goes round and joins up with that other earth lead or one of the black wires and goes round and then plugs in to the ESC just down there. Straightforwards. And the last wire which we've got in here is the other black wire which comes round and is actually soldered up on the underside of the board. So a very quick video because it kind of looks scary but actually it's really simple. We've got two servos, the ESC, the uh, the control line for the ESC. We've got S bus in. We've got a couple of wires going to the GPS unit. We've got video in, video out, 
and a couple of power lines. So I hope that helps you. Uh, I'm, I know that it might look complicated from face value, but it's really, really straightforward. Uh, and I would still like to say the hardest part of this entire job is soldering. Let me zoom right in. Hope it focuses. There you go. That's the hardest job is soldering them, uh, the little pin connectors onto the board itself. That really is the hardest part of the job. The rest of it is all just mucking around with the interface in iNav. Uh, and um, for you, when I get around to making the full blown tutorials, it will be as simple as copy and paste. So with that said, if you've got any questions about the C1 Chaser, which is an amazing model by the way, uh, please just ask in the comments section underneath this video. And if you've got any questions about iNav uh, and my current setup in the C1 Chaser, please just ask. Uh, you can do that in the comments section underneath this video. So for myself, Matt, I hope you found this little quick episode helpful and I'll see you again shortly. Cheerios!